in the Way 31 Storm Tracker Weather Center. Meteorologist Kate Mercetta. Well, this morning for your Thursday commute, it is definitely another chilly start to your morning. Make sure to maybe take a couple extra minutes. I know this morning, at least when I left the house, which is pretty early, <laughs> there was a little bit of frost on my windshield. So I had to take a couple minutes to defrost that. Yeah, and that's all that it should take you this morning. Fortunately, it's going to be warming up pretty quickly today, and we'll have some more sunshine in the forecast. Not completely clear, though, and this is kind of supporting that. Here's your view over Gunnersville. You'll see those mid level clouds moving through. And typically, when we've got mid level clouds, especially what we're looking at here, there are breaks in that cloud cover, so it's not going to be a gray, dreary day, but it's just not going to be 100% clear. So something to keep in mind as we go through your forecast here. Temperature-wise, cold regardless. It's 29 in Athens. Looks a little bit better, maybe uh, as you're just kind of thinking psychologically about the, the numbers here. But 29 in Athens, 23 in Florence, 24 in Moulton, 27 in Fayetteville. 25 in Scottsboro, 23 in Fort Payne. It feels cold no matter what location you're talking about. So as I walk you through this, notice that the data is picking up on some of that cloud cover that's been moving through. And all in all, it's not showing much happening during the day today. It starts to show the clouds increasing, though, between 5 and 6 this evening. And you'll see them creeping in from the west. They continue tracking through. And watch what happens here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Not only do we have the clouds still in place, but we've got a few rounds of showers that are going to work through. We can also hear a few rumbles of thunder. Now watch closely. I've noticed them right along the state line here as we go through the afternoon. You'll see a couple of rounds of heavier rain tracking through. That's the best chance for hearing some of that thunder tomorrow afternoon. Now, as we get into the afternoon today, with that sunshine, with the wind shift starting to mainly come out of the south, that's going to help bring the temperatures up. It's still below average, but it's an improvement from yesterday. 52 for Cherokee and Russellville, 49 near high temperature in Rogersville. Farther east, 53 in Cortland, 52 in Athens, 54 in Hartzell. Huntsville, it's a high of 54. Same thing goes for Owens Crossroads, 51 in Fayetteville and through Sand Mountain. It's more of the same, not drastically different by any stretch of the imagination. 54 in Gunnersville and Stevenson, 54 in Fort Payne. Now, I've already walked you through today and tomorrow's forecast. So we're picking back up at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. And we still have showers, and that's something that we're going to keep overnight Friday into Saturday morning. However, we start to get a couple of breaks in the action by 7 o'clock Saturday morning. So it's not going to be steady, heavy rain all day long. But it is going to be damp overall. By noon on Saturday, something else that I have noticed here is that this particular data source is bringing in the thunderstorms just a touch early. So it's something to keep in mind as I take you through this 2 o'clock time period. I think we're looking at more of a late afternoon, early evening arrival with the storms and the shoals. So consider that as we take you through here. It looks like the heaviest rain right through the central part of the valley by 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon, but I would say it's more like a 7 to 8 o'clock arrival for this heavy rain. As we continue, though, through 6, all of that tracks eastward, and by midnight, most of the heavy rain's out of here, but I still think we'll be holding on to a couple of showers across the valley as we head into Sunday morning. Now, for Saturday evening, we've been talking about that chance for some strong to severe storms. The best risk for severe weather is farther to our west, Arkansas, Mississippi. But we can still see some stronger storms in the valley. At this point, I'm tracking the potential for damaging wind. We can't rule out that tornado risk. But heavy rain is the main concern for me, especially within those thunderstorms packing the heavier rain, the more intense rain. That can cause some problems with flooding because, remember, our ground is still fairly saturated, even though we've gotten a couple of days to dry out. Friday into Saturday, 60% chance of rain tomorrow, and 80% chance of rain on Saturday. And by Sunday, that lingering shower chance, mainly before sunrise. Something else that happens before sunrise, got to set that clock ahead. So when you go to bed Saturday night, set your clock ahead one hour. We are springing forward. Two becomes three. And, you know, you lose an hour of sleep and we suffer all next week trying to get <laughs> used to the new time change. Monday into Tuesday, notice the temperatures start to climb yet again after we cool down behind this cold front. We go from 69 on Sunday to 59 on Monday. Way 31 real-time traffic alert. Still seeing two areas of concern. This is something that I touched on earlier, this indication here for a couple of slick spots on 231. It's mainly one slick spot here, but it says both ways. Wet and icy roads at Green Lawn Drive. And I checked to make sure that this isn't an error. It says that it's clearing before noon today. Well, that would 
also drive with the fact that temperatures are going to be above freezing by that point. Here's your view over Huntsville looking toward University and the Parkway. Traffic is moving along just fine and drive times pretty typical for this time of morning. Six minutes on the Parkway there heading northbound South Memorial Parkway, Green Cove Road to Weatherly Road. Alyssa.